Hiri, hiri, my noble lords and ladies, it's me again, your loyal peasant Hapuki, and I hope you're doing fine. Today we'll talk about Update 72 and all the cool new features and improvements it brings to the realms of March of Empires. The first and biggest feature in this update is a brand new historical story mission called The Last Real Viking. Eh, this story could be about me. You're not a Viking, bro. You're too skinny and you don't have a beard. Oh, shut up. As I was saying, the new historical story mission is about the Norwegian king Harald Hardrada. It starts from his youth when he was just 15 years old and trying to help his half-brother Olaf Haraldsson to reclaim the throne of Norway. After failing during the Battle of Stikjorstad, Harald's story continues with many amazing adventures like becoming a captain in the army of Grand Prince Jaroslav the Wise in Kiev and Rus. Then moving on to Constantinople where he became the commander of the Byzantine Varangian Guard and took part in many imperial dynastic disputes. During his adventures, Harald managed to amass considerable wealth which he later used for his campaign to reclaim the throne of Norway. After many bloody battles and political disputes, Harald managed to reclaim his throne but unfortunately this wasn't enough for him. He spent a lot of time unsuccessfully trying to conquer Denmark and even went on to England in an attempt to claim the English throne. This was his last war campaign as Harald was killed during a surprise attack by the forces of the English king. Many modern historians refer to Harald's death as the end of the Viking Age. And so my lords and ladies, if you manage to finish the new story mission successfully, you will unlock Harald Hardrada as your new personal champion. In addition, you will get the story exclusive rewards including some gold, some paragon points, a trinket lockbox and Harald's great cloak of command. In addition to March speed and swordsman attack and health, this cloak will give you two very rare bonuses. This is the first equipment item in the game that has those bonuses because up until now they could be only found in the district enhancements. The first bonus is Warcry boost and it gives additional swordsman attack and health percentage provided by the Norseman mercenaries passive skill. The second is military drill boost and it gives us additional spearman attack and health percentage provided by the Naginata mercenaries passive skill. The next big thing that's coming with update 72 is the Carthaginian war elephant. <coughs> this huge beast is not an animal companion, it is actually a new mercenary faction unit, the second unit of this kind after we released the Keshik some time ago. In addition to being so cool, because come on, it's an elephant, it also has pretty powerful skills. This amazing beast takes 65% less damage from enemy attacks and has an area of effect attack that can push back enemies. And that's not all, if you have a Carthaginian war elephant in your army formation, it will reduce your enemy's army defense by 5%. Noise. In this update, we are also getting a new paragon skill called Instant Hunt. Now, at least for the time being, this skill will only be available during the Age of Excellence. Have no fear, the Age of Excellence is near. When you activate the Instant Hunt Paragon skill, it allows you to perform the next three animal hunts instantaneously without sending a hunting march and without reducing the hunting tile's potency. Update 72 will also give us an extension of the gemstones and their maximum level will become level 9. Upgrading your gems to level 9 will require a new resource called Jeweler's Chisels. In the beginning, you will be able to find this new resource only in the in-game shop, but very soon they will be added to the time-limited festive event shops. As tradition dictates, the release of update 72 will trigger the new seasonal content rotation. As I mentioned earlier, we are about to enter the Age of Excellence, which officially starts on the 7th of March. This age comes with a new set of realm buffs and conditions such as court title abilities and their cooldowns lasting 50% longer, all paragon experience gains plus 5%, all paragon abilities cooldowns minus 5%, a mighty standard that can spawn in alliance territories after defeating a camp or depleting a mine, the emperor of the realm provides 3% army offense to all allied members in the region, and the seeds of power provide paragon abilities cooldown minus 10% to all alliance members. And last, but definitely most important, 
The Age of Excellence unlocks three additional mercenary slots in our army formation and it also unlocks the new Instant Hunt Paragon ability. The other piece of seasonal content is the new World Encounter Teams rotation. This time the Ronins will invade the realms and I'm sure you're ready to smash their camps and pillage all their treasures. Among those treasures you'll find the new PvE equipment items and the one we can upgrade to Mythic Rarity this time is the Ring of Vengeful Vow. It has some pretty decent encounter bonuses. Marching on with two quality of life improvements and I just love the first one. We're looking at a new interface menu that allows us to automate the actions of our assist rate animal companions. We can now use this slider to set the number of automatic actions and we no longer need to log in every hour to initiate the next animal assist. Phew. The second quality of life is not nearly as useful but it's still pretty cool. I'm talking about the new hunting march animation. Instead of just arrows we can now see this little cute fox running to the hunting tile. For dessert I'll share with you a bunch of balance changes and improvements that are also coming with update 72 starting with the holy site regional building changes. The holy site will now be able to grant you three new boosts. First, the old army attack boost will also give you army health as well. In addition, we can get a new champion XP boost and march size versus encounters. Ok, now please focus because the next balance change will affect the regional focus. Wait, 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 wait. Silence, peasant. Guys, there's a hidden redeem code in this video and if you watch closely, you will find it. You can claim it through the redeem code platform which is linked in the description below. Ok, go on. All focuses except the mobilization have been significantly buffed. The economic focus gets increased from 20% all the way up to 100% gathering speed. The order focus from 20% goes up to 75% march size versus encounters. The trade focus goes from 30 to 100% trade march size. The next one is very important so pay attention. The fortification focus from 175% gets increased to 1000% army health. Sheesh! The logistics focus jumps from 30% march speed up to 100% march speed and finally the investment focus from 20 goes to 75% research and construction speed. The next balance change is about the alliance mine rate. First of all, to start the alliance mine now we need only 750 green keys instead of 1000. In addition, the capacity for all resource types in the mine has been increased and we're getting 4 free marches instead of only 2. Oh, and the gathered resource bonus can be bought 5 additional times. It appears like the alliance mine is becoming way more attractive, so hopefully more alliances will now engage with it. And one last balance change that's coming with update 72. The mercenary den offers are getting significantly improved. This means we're getting more mercenaries for less ducats or something like this. To be completely honest, I'm not sure how much more or what exactly we're getting because I couldn't squeeze this information out of the game designers but I'm pretty sure we're going to see better offers in the mercenary den very soon. That sums up everything that's coming with update 72 my lords and ladies. Please consider subscribing to our channel if you haven't already and until we meet again, stay safe and march on for greatness.